Hello everybody, my name is Paul from Cryonetic. In today's video, I'll show you how to add the scratches onto your material, onto your PBR texture that we created in the previous video. Now, the scratches are completely separate from our base texture. They are completely so, uh, different texture with its own normal map, its own roughness map, and just its own color map as well. So I will show you how to add these details so that it blends with your texture. Uh, so that you don't have to directly modify anything in GIMP or Photoshop. All right, so let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to just open the material that we created before. And I just want to replace this texture that we made because um, I want to use the original base texture that we created before we started adding all these details. So I'm just going to go over here. Oops, let's just minimize that. I'm going to click import. And this was the original texture. I'm just going to remove that one and change all these hookups so it uses this one. Just to show you what the texture looks like, completely clean compared to that one. So we should have, once we apply it, it's going to be completely smooth ceramic tile, no uh, other details on it. Let's just see. Yeah. So uh, what you want to do then is find a texture that you wanted to, um, like for instance, if you want cracks or stains or anything like that. I chose this texture on texturelib.com. It is a very basic uh, concrete floor that has been cracked, but we're not too concerned about the concrete. All that we're really in interested in are the cracks themselves. So with the texture open in GIMP, I'm just going to first uh, just go over to desaturate so that it's a grayscale image. And then I'm going to change the levels. So kind of wanna just push it so that all that you really see are the cracks themselves. Also going to scale the image because our original image was 2048 by 2048. So this shouldn't look too bad. And then lastly, I am just going to make it seamless. Now, using this function of making it seamless uh, works here, but it normally doesn't work very well for any other texture. So I wouldn't really suggest uh, using it unless you're going to just create something very basic like this. For this texture that we have here, it's fine. So I'm not too concerned about it. So now we have um, a white background with the textures here. And remember that Unreal, what it uses is the white parts as the scratches. So we're just going to remove, uh, take out the white parts. All right, so let's get started. So if you can recall, this is the texture that we created in the previous video. If you have not seen the previous video, uh, a link in the description, and um, I'll just pop it up here on the left. So after um, we created this texture, you can see we made like the reflections and the little stains. So I'm just going to open the material to just show you what it looks like. And this was our roughness map. Remember that the darker parts were the reflective parts and the lighter parts were the ones that looked a little bit, uh, a little bit more um, matte colored. Okay, so we want to replace this one with our original base texture that we created. So I'm just going to delete it there. I'm going to import it, just drag it in, and just replace the texture there. So you'll see once we apply it, we'll have like a completely smooth tile. Just to show you, this is what it looked like. It was completely clean, no stains that we made for it. So let's just see what that looks like. As you can see here, completely clean, no stains on it whatsoever. Okay, so let's jump over to GIMP quickly. So, so here is a texture that I found on texturelib.com. It is just a basic concrete surface with cracks on it. So these cracks I are So 
So these cracks we are going to use to add details to our roughness map and our texture in Unreal Engine 4. So with it selected here, just a few things you quickly want to do. I am going to scale the image so it matches up with its size. So 2048 by 2048. It might warp the texture a little bit, but because we're just wanting the crack details, it's not a problem. Then I'm going to just go and desaturate the color. And then I am going to push the levels so that you want to push the whites so that you can just see that the cracks are mainly just the black areas. If you want a bit more of these stains on as well, you can do something like that. Okay, now this is going to be perfect except for one thing it's not tileable so just a quick way to do this is just to go into your filters click map and click make make seamless now this is not the best way to do it if you're going to create um, more detailed textures but because these are just scratches and actually it does add a little bit more to it that should be fine so Selecting this, I'm just going to duplicate it. Now remember that Unreal specifically uses the white areas to add in those details. So we want to use the white areas on the cracks themselves. So I'm just going to invert this. You're going to have to click on your colors and click invert. There we go. And then you can see that is our texture basically done. Now we can use this, but unfortunately, some uh, because this is like a solid color texture, some of these other details might actually interfere with our texture, um, our base texture or our base uh, reflections or roughness map. So I am going to just click here and add a layer mask and then black for full transparency. And we click add. And then actually because, let's just select our original texture first and click Control C. And then I'm going to click on the opacity mask and click, I'm oh sorry, the, the layer mask and click Control V. And you'll see it creates something like this. It's this floating selection. You would have to right click on that and just say anchor layer. There we go. I'm just ignoring that. We are just going to say apply layer mask. So now you'll see if you hide the bottom texture is that all these white cracks are now the cracks that are we, we are going to use. So this is essentially just going to be the only areas that we are going to use on our on our texture. So that's selected. I'm going to click export. I'm going to go to my builds here and I'm going to call this tile oh, not even this is going to be more of a decal scratches oh, wait I don't want the JPEG I wanted a PNG so click export the reason for a PNG, as far as I know, is that um, a PNG will actually take the transparency of the background, while a JPEG might actually turn that black or white, I'm not too sure. But uh, let's just jump over to Unreal, and let's import that texture. There we go. So if we have a look at it, you can see, there it is. And all its scratches. Let me close these out. We're going to jump into our material. And we're just going to drag the scratches over. Then just splitting these apart just slightly. Okay, so I'm going to just say the texture coordinates. And then I'm going to right click. Uh, I'm going to add a LERP or linear interpolate. The reason why I'm doing that is I will explain now. You can also use a multiply, but a multiply doesn't have a third value. It doesn't have an alpha value. So we're going to just take our, oh, we don't 
that one that one is the main one we want our original roughness map into a and then our scratches into b and then we're going to plug that into the roughness and you'll actually start seeing some of the details here already so what the alpha is the alpha is like a base value for instance if we make it one it will um, just make the scratches a little bit more ref uh, or just a bit of, little bit more detailed if we make it 0 0.1 you'll see that they'll they faded away so this would be an easy way just to add a bit more detail onto it so let's make it one I want them fairly detailed I'm gonna click apply you're just quickly gonna have a look and see what they look like in game all right so you can see there we go we got our scratches all nice and rough but actually when you look at your texture you don't see anything I mean you would want the scratches to actually have some surface depth now for this video we're only going to cover the texture so we're not going to make a normal map for it or anything we're just going to like slap the texture over it so jumping back into your material we're basically going to do the same thing we're just going to add another lerp plug in our texture into a and now here's the thing that you would want to do because these are going to be white and you don't want them to go white over this surface because we wanted our original our scratches need to be white on this but if we want it to look like something darker on here they obviously need to be a darker color like black or or a dark brown or something like that so uh, all that we're going to do here is we're going to add a one minus node what a one minus does is it effectively inverts the color so if there is whites here it's going to turn them into uh, black colors so let's just hook it up into B here and then we're going to hook it up to our base color and you, as you can see there we go so now we have our texture so let's just quickly click apply we're not going to mess with the alpha value here because well let's let's see that's a bit too much so let's leave it at 0 0.5 you can even go as low as 0 0.1 if you just want it to be very faint so you can see it is there but let's do 0 0.4 all right that's okay so just click apply and let's look at our texture all right so there we go so you can see we do have our texture and as soon as the camera like pans up a little bit you can actually see that there is some um, matte reflective values and you get closer you can actually look and see well there is a texture stripe across it so you can do this for any texture that you want anything that you want to use um, so uh, if you want to add a bit more detail you can even add color so if you want to add color that's that's not a problem so um, just one more thing I want to add to this texture so uh, essentially I think I'm going to add a normal map because it is a quick process so let's just jump over to GIMP I'm going to use our base texture I'm just going to click filters map add normal map and I'm just going to click OK now this is a separate plugin which you would have to download so it won't be standard with Blender um, sorry GIMP so that is something you would unfortunately would have to download. I'm going to click export and I already tried it before. So let's just export over that. And I'm going to jump over to Unreal. I'm going to click import. Just wait for that to finish. Let's see, there we go. And let's just see. looks fine as you can see there's like scratching details that looks perfectly okay so we're going to jump into the material again now there are a couple of ways to do this and we're just going to use the basic lerp method to do this the other way would be to actually add it as a detail texture um, but as we actually have a set pattern uh, that probably will not work just jump in like so I'm going to add a lerp a and b 
and hook it up over there. So let's have a look. Okay, that looks pretty good. And that's just one thing that I notice here, which I forgot to mention in some of my other videos, is that um, Blender and GIMP both use OpenGL normal maps, while Unreal, uh, currently in its state that I'm running, is running DirectX. So the way that you want to, because the, the normal maps actually differ, and if you go into your texture, you can just actually type in green, and you'll see there's an option that says flip green channel. So if you click that, you'll see that, okay, now it looks like it's coming out. Now it looks like the grooves are going in. So let's just save that. Jump over to our material again, and you'll see that even though the texture looks like the grooves are coming out, they're actually going in at the current moment. So let's click apply. And let's just see what that looks like. There we go. So you've got some nice detail. Uh, a couple of this is, uh, of these are a little bit too much detail, so we can maybe clean that out. But I actually think it looks pretty well. If you're going for um, tiles that are worn or dirty and just have some scratches in them, so you can actually see the details and all of that. So that looks pretty good so um this com brings us to the end of the tutorial if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel i will cover a couple of uh, more other things before we start creating some new textures so i think the next one will be um, texture masking where we can actually like cut out that detail over there so the details only on the tiles themselves so um once again please subscribe to my channel Leave a like and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching. Bye bye.